Okay, so these are the main screens I set up, and it's kind of hard to see because of it's dark. I had to turn the camera so that you could see the screens. But on this side, there were buttons on the Ellen Bradley thing, and it lets you, there's an up, down, left, right, an OK, and an escape. So when the machine first turns on, um, you can start the run program. There's a couple of preset timers and a count. But I'll go in here. Um, you can hit OK. And then what it is, if you remember, this is our motor. You can't see it too well. But the motor is going to go from left to right and then back again. And you want it to, to go right, then set how much time they want it to wait before it comes back, and then how much time they want to wait before it cycles again. So, so the timer one setting is when it goes out and then how much time is it going to wait here. Then when it comes back, the timer 2 setting is how much time before it cycles again. So right now the default is set to 10. I'm going to clear these out. I've got it set up so that if you hold the OK button, um, it'll increment or decrement by 10s. And then if you don't, it'll go by individuals like that. So right now I'm going to set it for 2 seconds, which is probably going to be a lot of wear on these motors. But... Um, for this video it'll work. Uh, obviously we'll get into the clear count on the next screen when we run the software but you can set the maximum count which is how many full cycles so how many times will it go out time come back and time and that's when it comes back that's a full cycle we're not going to be able to get 50 in on this uh, so I'm going to turn it down to like 5 and again it decrements or increments by 10 if you hold the OK key and by 5 if you don't. So we've got uh, basically everything set up. Let's go into run program and you'll see it's running. Oh, I have to reset the limit. I was running this earlier. So here's where if you clear the count, all counters have been cleared. And then we come back here. I'm going to run this program. And there you can see and hear the motor running a little bit going back and forth and then it's counting if you can see there so it's going it's counting these cycles so after this one when it hits five we're going to get our limit reached it's going to stop counting and then we know we have to go back in you can clear the count so that they can go through and this way they can keep a tab or whatever you can walk away for a while and they can still keep track of um, the motors. Now um, the other thing is if you hold the left and right keys for two seconds we put in a manual mode which will you know allow you to use the up or down button and you can just you know toggle that was the wrong way obviously um, if you want to toggle it manually so that you can kinda of set you know you can set that knob over there and then when you get the knob set where you need it you can hit escape and it'll go back into the program mode. So anyway, that's my uh, screen. Again, uh, Alan Bradley. This is a Micro 10 12 DWD. It's a fun little project. It, uh, it turned out pretty well, I think. So thanks again.